What's up, guys? Jay? More than they have to kill? And I'm back here on Destiny! Live! In a tower! And it's Friday! And judging by that intro clip, everybody should know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel by now. But in case if you don't, <laughs> that's right, it means loot! Another visit from Sure, the agent of the Nine. He is the rare NPC that shows up in the tower once every week with a backpack full of exotic gear and weaponry. And this week he is located downstairs in the Hunter's Bar, of course, because, yo, know, Bungie, they threw in this brand new, yo, know, audio Easter egg jukebox. And of course, they're gonna wanna put Jure down here. And about like five minutes ago, there was a ton of assholes down here just fucking around with that jukebox over and over again. And I, I had to listen to that god awful Paul McCartney song. Big Paul McCartney fan, big Beatles fan, but god damn it, if that shit isn't fucking terrible. <laughs> so look at, look at Jure over here. He's, he's trying to tempt me. He's like, hey, come here. I wanna show you something. And I'm like, I, 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 is it that, that big phalanx shield behind you? He's like, no, I have semen on my face. God damn it, Jerry. Look at him. <laughs> he's, all, he's all proud of it. So let's go ahead and see what old dick face has for us this week. And while we're doing this, I want to give you guys a little bit of a, a story time afterwards to tell you some pretty funny shit that happened to me earlier this week. So let's go ahead and see what Jerry has. Of course, he has telemetries. For those of you guys that don't know, these allow you to level up your weapons just a little bit faster, gain an XP, add a little bit of a, extra clip using these on, uh, you know, what I guess, pulse rifles, hand cannon, and shotguns. And if you use these while you're turning in your bounties, at the same time, you get probably about, like, two or three bubbles from a full set of, uh, bounty turning at the bounty board. So, you can level up legendary weapons pretty quickly. Exotic weapons are still gonna take quite a bit to, uh, level them up, but... It's still every little bit counts, so not a bad way to spend some strange coins if you already have quite a bit of things that already has been sold, but these are plasma drives. These will allow you to level up a blue rarity sparrow into a purple legendary rarity sparrow. I have actually bought one of these uh, last week, right here, see? I bought the green one, and uh, sometime this week on a live stream, I'm going to level up a blue rarity spirit. Maybe I'll upload that video for you guys and, you know, test it out and see how it does against all the other sparrows. And, you know, I'll be like, oh, zero to 60 seconds is blah, blah, hoo, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee. <laughs> You guys, you guys know how I do, uh, you know, the, the fun types of things that we have around here. <laughs> so, once again, he is selling heavy ammo synthesis. For those of you guys out there that do a lot of playing with heavy ammo, you should probably pick some of this up. It's a really good deal. I used to make fun of it, but that was before I knew it was five packs for uh, one strange coin. It's actually a really good deal. Considering that you could probably do like five rock strikes and get three strange coins just from doing rock strikes. Because I get up in Blue Engrams all the goddamn time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what gear that he's brought this week for those of you guys out there. That run them filthy, filthy titans. <laughs> he's brought the Helm of Inmost Light. This reduces melee cooldown when you pick up an orb. Provides death from above and headstrong for Fist of Havoc. And... Increased melee attack speed. And it ups your strength. Which, uh, yeah. I, God damn it! I, I, I was about to say, like, yeah, that's not very good, but I'm pretty sure that his shoulder charge on a Titan's recharge through the, uh, melee capabilities. Which, uh, already chaps my asshole. It's like, just throw my asshole out in the Windy City and fucking throw a goddamn some moisture on it. It's chapped. Chapped ass. <laughs> and then we have the Radiant Dance Boots. These allow you to carry more heavy ammo for your heavy weapons. And also allows you to strafe more quickly while you're aiming your weapon. Uh, if you use this in conjunction with the Mita Multi-Tool in the uh, Crucible, I've heard that you could do some really nasty strafing. And uh, my buddy Red Hamu SLA, who uh, does a lot of a lot of hunter beasting inside the Crucible, I, I've seen him do work with that. So those of you guys out there that spend a lot of time in the Crucible, you might want to pick these up and just uh, fuck with them. I, I'm not sure if I would I would use these over top of the Acolophage Symbiote, but you know if you do need a set of exotic gear to get you to level 32, 
These boots will get you there just fine. But these boots are made for dancing. <laughs> They're not made for walking. So let's go ahead and take a look. Welcome back. Welcome back, Mr. Purple Jacket. The Void Fang Vestments. These enhance the Axiom Bolt and allow you to spawn with extra grenade energy. And also augments your uh, hand cannon and special weapon ammunition. Uh, those of you guys out there that like the Warlocks, we'll go ahead and pick one of those up. I'm pretty sure everybody should probably already have a lot of this gear. Uh, we're, we're heading into a new DLC, new content expansion. So, uh, you know, Zhur will be relevant once again once the uh, new exotics hit the game. And we got the last word hand cannon, which... I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, but the, the Hulk Moon is the greatest hand cannon inside the game for PvP. It, it's, it's pretty good. But uh, you also got to forget that the Xbox guys don't have the Hulk Moon. So uh, those of you guys on the Xbox, you're looking for a good uh, PvP weapon? This right here is going to be your Cowboy Gunslinger. This uh, hip-fired weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And the last word, you get bonus damage and stability and extra precision damage when firing from the hip. So this allows you to just fan through the hammer real quick and put people down pretty damn easily. But it takes a couple minutes to learn how to how to get used to just, you know, firing from the hip. Because most people, their, their, their first, you know, I guess reaction is to aim down the sight as soon as they see somebody in a PvP. So you're probably going to have to adjust to that a little bit. But... It is a decent weapon for those of you guys that don't have it. And then we got exotic shards and a bunch of uh, upgrades for pre-DLC weaponry and gear. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stat rules on there. Because some of the stat rules on the items are actually better than some of the things that he sold before. So you see we got 155 on the strength and 151. So actually that's a better uh, deal right there picking that up. And then we got 125 on the discipline. That is uh, better than mine, but I'm not going to buy it just for one discipline. But that is actually a pretty good roll. We got 139, 148, 151. And so the only one that's really worth upgrading is probably going to be the Aculophage Symbiote. For those of you guys out there looking for that uh, perfect 125 discipline roll. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> God damn it, Budgie! Why can't you allow me to just have it the way I can always have a fucking invite only no matter what time I got to fucking get on the goddamn game? <laughs> ah, shit. And then that brings us to the exotic end groom for chest armor, which I don't need. I have them all. I'm, I'm pretty good on that. So, uh, I don't need anything from Jure this week except for a heavy ammo synthesis, but uh, those of you guys that don't have a last word yet, you're going to want to pick that up especially before the old uh trials of osiris and i heard the uh iron banner is coming back in like a, a stealth update in the next 24 hours so uh keep an eye out for that it's something to really look forward to but let me go ahead and tell you something before we we end this fucking video out so uh i told you guys the other day i was waiting for my brand new shoes to come inside the mail and I was literally waiting for him. I was on the porch. And I see the UPS guy drive. And I was like, oh, yeah, here they come. This motherfucker stares at me. Smiling his ass off. And rides by five miles, literally five miles an hour, just staring and smiling at me. And passes my house and doesn't even stop. Fuck you, man. <laughs> But, just as I was about to get on the phone and complain to the UPS so I get the delivery, this motherfucker comes around the corner laughing his ass off with the truck and gets out and hands me the box. And he's like, oh, man, he's, he's a younger guy, probably about like 24, 25. And he's like, oh, man, dude. I, I recognized the box and the address. I, I knew what these were. I knew these were the new Jordans. And I saw you out on a porch waiting for them and decided to have a little bit of fun and fuck with you for a minute. <laughs> now, wow, that's absolutely fucking hilarious. That could have cost that guy that guy's job if he didn't get around the corner fast enough. I would have been on the phone with UPS and be like, yo, this motherfucker just drove by laughing at me with my package on his fucking truck. 
I swear to God. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What I have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. I'm going to go ahead and render this video before you get something to drink. My throat is really, really fucking dry. It's hot as fucking here, and I'm going to go yell at my girlfriend because I know for sure that she turned the fucking air conditioner off when I told her not to turn the goddamn fucking air conditioner off. I, I'm looking at her right now. I see it in her face that she's fucking like, oh, shit, I didn't think he'd be able to tell. Well, guess what? I got three pieces of sweat dripping down my face right now, and I don't like it because one of them's about to go my... Ah, that, 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 fucking god. Damn it, fucking sweat went in my eye. Ah, it hurts so bad. <laughs> it's a fucking... Now I know how you women feel when you get the... Ooh, when you get the salty liquid in your eyes. It burns. <laughs> so, last time my name's Jay. We're gonna have to kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later.